When we arrived at the scene to investigate his death, the work crew was upset but willing to describe what had happened. They wanted to understand how their friend and co-worker of the past eight years had died in an instant. We learned he had a wife and four-month-old son. The employer was a professional tree care company that had been in business for 30 years. We were told the worker arrived with the rest of the seven-man crew that morning, ready to finish the job. Three tree trimmers were safely secured by rope and fall protection equipment as they cut the tree limbs. The victim and two other workers were on the ground, gathering brush to feed into the wood chipper. As the victim dragged a branch to the machine, the branch got caught in a tree trimmer's climbing rope that was coiled at the base of a tree. The victim fed the branches into the chipper along with the entangled climbing rope. As the rope went through the blades, it immediately snapped tight, either pulling or throwing the victim against the machine, breaking his neck. How could this have been prevented? Make sure branches and other debris are placed in piles and free of unwanted objects before being fed into wood chippers. By inspecting the piles, objects that may damage the wood chipper or cause personal injury can be identified and removed. A coworker should act as a safety watch and be located near the safety control bar to stop or reverse the feed or shut down the machine in an emergency. If a second worker was watching, he may have noticed the rope and alerted the victim, stopped the feed rollers by hitting the safety control bar, or shut down the machine. The FACE program shares investigation findings and works together with employers and workers. So this won't happen again.